There are no boundaries this season. I feel like everyone dips their toes in everyone's waters. I can't tease more than that. I am back and I've been crowned king. Well, cheese to you. It's not about how well you do unless you do really badly. Wait, it's a quite confusing tip, Just actually. one sec, and you can talk later to yourself when I'm not around. <laughs> I feel very honoured. Um, I, I can't quite believe it. I think I've got some huge shoes to fill, albeit male shoes. But um, it's great. It's amazing to see that the industry is sort of finally accepting um, anyone for the role, regardless of gender or, or, or anything. So I'm, I'm super, super grateful. But again, it takes a lot of hard work. Definitely Kate Chastain. I think she, to me, uh, when I first started watching the show, was everything I wanted to be. And equally, now that I know her and we get along so well, it just it was just such a match made in heaven in my head, more so than it ever was in real life. But it's great. I think that we, we're, we're quite similar in our sort of uh, chief styles and our quick wit, so, um, so yeah. I know you're gonna shine this year. You shined last year. Thank you, sir. I left my Siena and went back to the Med and I've been a chief for a season now. Kind of boss I wanna be, I wanna be a friend, but I also want to be a leader. But I'm gonna try and see if I can merge both personal and professional together and create something wonderful. I'd only been a chief um, outside of, uh, of, of this boat for about four months. It was my first experience and then I was thrown into this with the biggest boat and the biggest crew that the franchise has ever had and it was nerve-wracking to say the very least. I genuinely, day two on the yacht, didn't think I'd make it. So the fact that I did is I'm still surprised about, but I was myself, part of my friend. We are going to work your asses to the bone. Everybody literally is like, we need somebody faster. Okay, then you can do it. Woo! Yachting's not all fun games. 100%. I'm not going to name names, um, but yeah, we had some difficult children or childish behavior uh, throughout the season. It, that, that didn't seem to leave us at any point. But again, I love them all dearly and we're, um, we're all here saying the sound to tell a tale. There are no boundaries this season. I feel like everyone um, dips their toes in everyone's waters, but I can't tease more than that. Again, I think everyone's very excited to be on and we've got a huge new boat, uh, all new crew. So it's just very much that sort of initial excitement um, of, of, of people being confined in very small places with each other. You have a problem with me for no goddamn no, reason. It's deadly serious. We're gonna hit. I will chew your little dumb ass out and spit you out in a heartbeat. Whoa! Whoa. Prepare to abandon ship. Y'all are gonna make me quit. <laughs> We well, wouldn't mind. We have such a variation of guests. We have people from all over the world, all different styles of guests, heavy drinkers to people who just want to be in the area and appreciate the amazingness of St. Lucia. So we've got a bit of everything. Um, we have not any as dramatic as season nine or as rude as perhaps that season, season thankfully. Um, but yeah, you see a bit of everything, um, everything. Bye. What a horrible group of people.